Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of 1990s Represent. We're starting off our third cycle in 1997 here, doing that with an album. And this episode, we're talking about OK Computer by Radiohead. Just a very solid record from them, one of their best, um, probably in my top three from them. I would say probably uh, the other two in the top three um, outside of this one uh, being The Benz and probably Kid A. Um, all very good records, but, um, OK Computer is just a really good, good album. Listened to it again recently. It's been a while since I've listened to it, but, uh, really enjoyed it again. Um, like I said, haven't listened to it for quite a while, but, um, had a great time. Um, got some notes here about it. We're going to go through those. We'll get through the track listing and things like that. So let me just get my notes open here. All right, so we have OK Computer by Radiohead, uh, first released May 21st, 1997. Uh, this is their third studio album. It follows up um, from their 1995 album, The Benz. Um, the Benz was the first radio out, Radiohead album that I had listened to. Um, and I think like the first song I heard was probably because of a music video uh, for uh, High and Dry off that album. So um, didn't really know a whole lot about them until 1995. And then uh, listened to this one, not right away in 1997, but I think I listened to it with like, like a year or two after. Um, very good album. Uh, definitely more experimental than their previous albums, and I think it kind of is a good, like, almost like a blueprint for some of their other more experimental, like, style albums. I think, like, uh, like, like Kid A has um, almost, like, ambient qualities to it. Uh, Kid A is really good. I think that was like one album I was saw on a list of just really good, just like vibed out albums. So um, it kind of, I think this album definitely kind of like influenced a lot of their other more experimental albums. I like to say more experimental. Uh, this won a Grammy Award for uh, best alternative al art, sorry, best alternative album at the uh, next year's Grammys, the 1998 Grammy. So won a Grammy Award there. Um, some singles off this album include Paranoid Android, Karma Police, Lucky, and No Surprises. So all very solid there. Um, some interesting stuff that I did not know about this particular album before doing this research is uh, during the tour for the Benz, uh, Brian Eno, who is a really good ambient um, music musician, um, did he did the, um, I think it's called like, Ambient One, Music for Airports, like one of the probably greatest ambient records like ever. Um, it's a very just kind of relaxed album. Um, I think I talked about, mentioned him briefly in a, I think a little while back I did the um, Miles Davis, um, and a, a Miles Davis album for our new album series. I think it was uh, In a Silent Way. Um, so like when I was first getting into ambient music, Brian Eno's Ambient for Airports was like the first ambient record that I listened to. I've listened to a bunch more since then. But um, Brian Eno approached Radiohead when they were doing the tour for the Benz and asked them to come up with a, um, a song, commission them. Um, I think it was for a song for the uh, a charity album called The Help Album. And so he basically commissioned them to do it, do an, a song for it. And I wouldn't be surprised if kind of like a lot of the, his kind of, ambient and experimental kind of like tendencies kind of like rubbed off on Radiohead because he um I would just definitely recommend checking Brian Brian Eno's music out it's all like really good stuff but uh they did I think the song they ended up doing for that album or they recorded it in five hours was Lucky which would eventually become a single off of OK Computer but they recorded that song in a um a five hour um time constraint and apparently they were feeling like very good after recording it. Like they, they 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 liked the kind of short amount of time they had. Basically, they were like working under pressure to get that song, get the song done. And then they were saying there was a um, let me see, it wasn't that, but um, basically, and after they they recorded it, they kind of decided that was the sound that they wanted to go with on their next album, which would become OK Computer. So kind of uh, Brian Eno commissioned them to do this song. They did it, and then that's kind of when it all kind of clicked for them that that was a, the kind of style they wanted for their um, their next record. Um, let's see here. Um, speaking of Miles Davis, and actually the reason I had Miles Davis is Miles Davis does play into this album as well, kind of. 
And let me actually bring up the quote here. So, um, uh, Thor New York, the uh, lead singer from Radiohead, was has is quoted as saying, kind of that the starting point for the record was, quote, the incredibly dense and terrifying sound of uh, Bitches Brew, which is um, a just great jazz album from Miles Davis. I listened to that earlier this year. It's very long, but... Um, and it was uh, another part of the quote relating to that album. Is it was quote, it was building something up and watching it fall apart. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. It was at the core of what we were trying to do with OK Computer. And he also said, quote, I'll wear it proud or I'll, I'll wear it proud, proudly by Elvis Costello, Fall on Me by R.E.M., Dress by P.J. Harvey, and A Day in the Life by the Beatles were also influential on the songwriting for that album as well. But it was just kind of cool that they, they mentioned uh, Bitches Brew by Miles Davis because, like I had mentioned earlier in the video, um, in a silent way, almost like an, um, what's it called, uh, ambient-style jazz record from Miles Davis. Kind of got into that after listening to a lot of uh, Brian Eno stuff. But it's interesting that they used kind of Bitches Brew as a, as a basis for uh, this album. Like, the album lyrics are, like, very, like, dystopian. There's, like, a lot of just kind of very, like, forward-thinking kind of stuff. Let me see what the actual... It was quoted as... I didn't write them down, but it was... Um, yeah, the dystopian was the word, but it was talked about consumerism, capitalism, social alienation, uh, political uh, malaise, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, it's a very, like, kind of down... Like, a kind of very... I don't want to say it's a hard album to listen to. It's not hard to listen to, but, like... The content of it is kind of very just like just like down overall. Like the lyrical the lyrics of the thing are not like uplifting or happy or anything like that. It's definitely very like like it's not low key's not the word, but it's like very like down like very just kind of like bluesy almost and like what they're they're singing about. Um came out to critical acclaim, um had a lot of just really good reviews. Let me actually just pull those reviews up here really quick. So here we go. Um, so basically, it came out to um, very well acclaimed. Uh, Chicago Tribune has it at a 3.5 out of 4. Gets a B-plus from Entertainment Weekly. Uh, the Guardian has it at a 4 out of 5. Uh, LA Times, 3.5 uh, out of uh, 4. Enemy has it at a 10 out of 10. Pitchfork has it at a 10 out of 10, like we said on some of these videos before pitchfork is no notorious for being kind of very tough with their their rating so getting that score from them is huge uh q has it at a five out of five rolling stone has it at a four out of five uh and then select has it at a five out of five and an eight out of ten from spin so um just overall really good reviews like i said one of their better albums like i said i don't know where i necessarily rank it but definitely my top three are uh, OK Computer, The Benz, and uh, Kid A. Uh, after that, we're going to move into our track listing here. And then we'll wrap up after that. Let me just pull the track list up here really quick. Now, here we go with our track listing. Um, let's see, 12 tracks. What's the overall length? Overall length is 53 minutes and 21 seconds. And 12 tracks for that. So uh, track one is Airbag. Um, track two is Paranoid Android. Again, one of the singles off the album. Uh, track three is Subterranean Homesick Alien. Kind of a, I think a play on the home, home Subterranean Homesick Blues by, I think, Bob Dylan. I think it's kind of like a play on that. Uh, track four is Exit Music for a Film. Uh, track five is Let Down. Track six is uh, Carbon Police. Track seven is Fitter, Happier. That's a really interesting one because it's basically like a text-to-speech spoken word thing. I don't know, remember what computer they were using for it. It may have been like an Apple that did that. I don't know, like, or like a Mac. But uh, basically it's just this text-to-speech thing listing. It's like, get more exercise, do this, like be more productive. It's, it's a very weird song, but it's really cool. So again, that's track seven. Track eight is electro, electro, elect, electioneering. <laughs> like talking, that's like one of the more political songs, I believe. Uh, track nine is climbing up the walls. Track ten is no surprises. Uh, track eleven is lucky. 
and track 12 is a tourist. Um, I think Lucky, yeah, like I mentioned, was the one that was, um, let me just try to say it, Brian. Yeah, Brian Eno asked them to contribute a song to that album. So that's basically where Lucky uh, came from. But uh, overall, just an incredible, like, alternative kind of, like, wonder what the genre is for this. I would put, I filter it, or filter it, apply it to alternative. Yeah, it's definitely alternative. Um, alternative, experimental, kind of like whatever you want to uh, call it. But overall, one of their best albums, definitely worth uh, checking out as well. Um, that's going to do it for this video. We'll be back again in a few days. Uh, we'll be doing another, another uh, movie. No idea what that movie's going to be yet, but I'll come up with something. And then we'll follow that up with a video game from 1997 before moving back into 1998. And then the rest of the decade before we start over all over again. But again, that's going to do it for now. So remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one. See ya.